trends and forecasting. It's the second Major League Soccer match between these two bitter rivals, Columbus and Chicago. 11 for Greg Berhalter's side. Yeah, just one change at the back. Parkhurst moves to right back. In comes Tyson Wall, but everything will run through that man. Number 10, Federico Higuain. The Chicago Fire, this is a look at Frank Gallup's first choice 11. A clean sheet and a best defensive performance of the season against Vancouver means that it's all the same for Frank Gallup. The six going forward will need to score the goal. Chicago Fire, two matches to go. It was a bad result on the road against San Jose. Frank Yallop made three changes. It's drastically altered the team. He sticks with the same starting 11 tonight. The crew is Quincy Ameriqua. Trying to change that trend. Shedding defenders. Pass there for Watson, and he couldn't get full force behind that right-footed shot as some company was coming back for Columbus. And again, the catalyst of the attack, Quincy Ameriqua. Lorenowitz, that's his spot, but Steve Clark was positioned to make the save. Nearly deja vu from last year. 1-0 win for the Chicago Fire at home against the Columbus crew. Who was it? Big Red, Jeff Lorenowitz, with a cracker of a header in front of Section 8. Another look at the McGee corner and the Lorenowitz chance. Jeff Laurentowitz said a few weeks ago that's something they're working on in training is the outswinger and Jeff's movement. He always seems to get on the end of those crosses. Quincy Ameriqua, he's got some company coming with him. Rushed ahead to Watson. Grant Ward trying to chip it back. Look to be a handball, it is. And the Chicago Fire will get a chance on the spot in the 36th minute. Tyson Wall has a little word with the referee, but there's not too many complaints from the Columbus crew players. A little bit harsh, he looked to get his arm out of the way, and the ball hits, certainly hits what looks like around the bicep area. One nil Chicago Fire, thanks to Mike McGee. Look at the passion on the face of Mike McGee. The eruption from Section 8 Chicago. The relief around Toyota Park. As Mike McGee tucks it home. There's the foul. He clearly hit the arm of Tyson Wall. Mike McGee goes to the spot. Look at that for confidence. Gives the keeper the eyes. Clark goes one way, McGee goes the other. 1-0 Chicago, nice and early. Obviously in an offside position, trying to make his way back. Parkhurst gets a step. Cigars falls down. Second ball. Blocked and Palmer away as Ethan Finley had the look at goal that didn't get through for Columbus. Gonzalo Cigars get in trouble on the outside. Just dives right in. Gonzalo Cigars can't afford to do that. Parkhurst picks out a great ball. Half. As Columbus comes out quickly. Iguain the faint now. The drive. Just seconds in. You give the little devil a moment, he'll burn you, and Federico Iguain does. But it all starts with a missed header from Jeff Lorentwitz. Fidel had dragged him out of position. Iani fluffs his lines. And when the ball falls to Federico Iguain, that is clinical. Classy from the Argentine. Poor from Iani, but when he's put in this position, the little magician makes no mistake. I think that might register at about nine, maybe 10 seconds into the second half. Well, with the game finally poised at one, let me just remind you that the crew and the fire 
have not drawn a game since 2009. Higuain dummies it. Ben Spees lets it fly off the boot of Johnson. Creating danger again. Columbus looking for another look. Drifted wide by Waylon Francis. Sean Johnson, though, forced to make his first large stop of the match. Wow. Just watch this one more time. Sean Johnson, with his feet, manages to get the left foot down just in time to stop that rasping effort from Ben Spees. Higuain. Good to have the manager of the Chicago Fire, Frank Gallup, on board. Frank, not the way that you wanted to start the second half. How do you change things from your team's perspective? Well, first of all, great save, Sean. Secondly, the big problem for us is we, you know, we talked about halftime coming out and not being, you know, give up anything, and, and then we give a real simple, easy, poor goal. Higuain gets it back, recovers after that heavy first touch, little chip into the penalty area. It's Quincy, or rather Matt Watson, wrestles it loose. Now it's Quincy Ameriqua, dragging crew defenders with him. Rushed over to McGee, Mike McGee for a second of the night, just puts it wide of the near post. The chance was there. Matt Watson, tenacity in midfield. Gets the ball to Ameriqua. Again, that tenacity from Ameriqua. Beautiful pass to Mike McGee. Can he get it on goal? Inches. Gonzalez tried to cut off the angle. McGee got the shot away. Well played, Razvan Kochis. He had no right to win that ball. Pure desire. He's had a good second half of Romania. That's a perfect carry ship. Spread the play as quick as possible. Good turn by Palmer. Chipped into the penalty area. Here's Ship from distance. Thought about it. Instead goes to Kochish. The turn. The left-footed blast over the bar. Good stuff, Razvan. Class from Harry Ship. Falls beautifully onto the left boot of Coach Cheech. Just couldn't keep it down. Couldn't test the goalkeeper. Columbus looking for a chance of their own. Higuain, Schoenfeld. Johnson might have been going wide, but Johnson grabs it to make sure. Oh. McGee, the hurried shot blocked. Whistle sounds. It's the 13th draw this season for the Chicago Fire. 